We are here with Dr. Nunchan Tunchbeck. She is a professor at Koch University, jointly at Chemical and Bi Biological Engineering and School of Medicine. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And we would like to know about your work and field of study. Uh, thank you for, in, uh, for the invitation. So uh, my research is in the field of computational biology and bioinformatics. So uh, it is an interdisciplinary field uh, that uh, the engineers, uh, medical uh, schools and uh, uh, other uh, fields are like chem chemistry, uh, biology, uh, they are working together. Uh, and uh, what we are doing is uh, we are uh, in an age of uh, big data uh, in biological and health sciences. And uh, this big data includes the, uh, the electronic health records or imaging data, or at the molecular level, uh, it is called multi-omic data uh, and beyond. So what we would like to do is uh, to uh, integrate these molecular data to, under, to better understand uh, how the diseases are happening, how a normal cell uh, becomes a, a, a cell uh, with uh, some uh, pathologies or uh, with some uh, abnormal signals. So we are uh, studying that problem. And uh, as a bioinformatician, it, it is called a dry lab because we are working on the computer and we are trying to model uh, what happens within the cell uh, that's our target aim. So we don't already know what happens to the cell uh, when we have a disease. Yes. We, we so it, it, is very uh, it is a very complicated problem. Uh, it's a very complex problem. Uh, imagine that uh, within uh, that uh, nanoscale uh, entity, which is the cell, uh, there are thousands of molecules and they are interacting with each other with maybe millions of interactions. You can imagine a social network like in Twitter or in, a, in Facebook, uh, there are uh, nodes that are uh, representing the people. And if they are friends, uh, they are interacting with each other or they, are, or they are following each other. So that is called the interaction between them. A, a similar network is also present within the cell and uh, molecules like proteins or genes or the metabolites uh, they are interacting with each other uh, and uh, the, the cell performs uh, some specific tasks. If there are something uh, abnormal, uh, the, if there's an abnormal alteration, that net network may become uh, uh, abnormal and uh, at the end, uh, it may cause some diseases like cancer, some neurodegenerative diseases and so on. So these alterations, maybe we can catalog them as uh, the mutations or some genes are overexpressed or some proteins are uh, less expressed and that type of alterations, I mean. Mm. Okay. Um, and how do you study to find out where exactly the alteration happens? So, uh, for example, in, in, in cancer, there are uh, so many databases uh, from uh, the, the patient tumors, uh, they are profiling, uh, profiling the uh, mutations or uh, the gene expression data or uh, proteomic data. So we retrieve that data sets. Uh, and uh, this is not a uh, low throughput data, this, how, uh, this is high throughput data. And uh, as an engineer by training, we are trying to uh, integrate, integrate that big data to transform it to uh, clinically interpretable uh, knowledge, I can say. You're transforming the data into clinical what? Yeah, because uh, there are thousands of uh, proteins and genes uh, from uh, that big data, uh, we are trying to find which specific uh, disease network is present there, and uh, we would like to understand which uh, signals are abnormal so that we can define uh, these, uh, these uh, signaling pathways uh, to better understand the disease, I can say. And if we understand the disease better, 
uh, how could that help us? So, uh, for example, uh, already approved drugs can be repurposed for uh, for that specific uh, disease, or uh, an optimal treatment strategy can be developed uh, if we can better understand these complex diseases. So, uh, and uh, this knowledge can be uh, clinically uh, applicable. Uh, so, uh, we are trying to work toward that uh, aim, actually. So we're going to create more efficient medication. Since yes. Since we know exactly better, we know what we're targeting much. Yes. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, so you're getting these data and making computational models out of them. Yes, exactly. So uh, from the uh, from uh, the condition specific or disease specific or patient specific data, uh, we are uh, developing uh, computational models. Uh, and then uh, we are collaborating with uh, experimental people. Uh, and uh, we try to uh, validate our uh, computational hypothesis with the experimental data. Uh, and uh, that is the validation of the computational modeling stuff, exactly. How does the validation happen? So for example, if you find a, a network that, that, that might be potentially uh, responsible uh, for the abnormal signal, then uh, in the wet lab, uh, it can be uh, validated that really, if uh, uh, that uh, pathway is really uh, abnormal uh, in, the, uh, in, in, in a cell line or in, in a model organism that can be validated ex experimentally. So a mod, a, the computational model would indicate where the problem is and experimentally, clinically, uh, you will uh, validate? Yeah, so uh, I can say that. Uh, so let's assume that you have uh, the, the uh, changes for, for example, thousands or 10,000 so uh, entities, and uh, by eye, you cannot distinguish which one is the responsible one among those thousands of uh, uh, proteins or genes. Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, modeling, uh, we are trying to find which uh, specific interactions or which specific subset of those uh, proteins are responsible uh, about the abnormal signaling uh, that causes uh, the diseases. So uh, it is like a dimensionality reduction. And uh, we come up with a, uh, with a network uh, that will represent the uh, disease best. And then uh, instead of dealing with thousands of uh, 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 suspects, uh, that, that data is uh, reduced to maybe 10 or 20 uh, molecules, and then we can target or we can validate those, uh, those uh, proteins. So that's the idea. Um, that's um, another of technology's um, great impact on us. Yeah. So has, has this reached the pharmaceutical industries? Has, is there a collaboration between so, uh, was it too soon? Uh, so uh, currently, uh, lots of groups are interacting uh, or collaborating with each other. So, uh, and uh, these techniques are usually used for the, the drug repurposing uh, uh, aims. Uh, currently, we don't have any pharmaceutical partner to collaborate. But uh, maybe in the future we will uh, we may have uh, uh, that type of collaborations, uh, and uh, we are in the stage of uh, what happens within the cell, uh, which network is altered within the cell uh, that the cell becomes from uh, the normal state to a tumor cell state, for example, in cancer. So we are working on that problem for preventative mm -hmm. measures. You mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so how we could 
what steps could we take beforehand to avoid yeah yeah it is called also uh, reverse engineering uh, because uh, you have uh, the output data that is uh, the disease state you have the normal state data so there is a black box between them and we would like to understand what happens in that uh, black box that the normal state becomes a, a disease state so we are uh, trying to model that black box uh, by using the computational techniques. Hmm. Is it possible for the uh, computational operations to, uh, to find the causation? Because isn't it genetic? You have it. I mean, we're trying to see how if someone is pre has a pre condition to have cancer. Um, no, uh, it, it is not totally dependent on the, uh, gene uh, the, the genetical information. So that, that is uh, not inherited, but there are so many uh, alterations that happens while you are uh, living. So, so many uh, mutations are happening and uh, the cell is a dynamic system. Uh, so many molecules are uh, overexpressed or less expressed and so on. Uh, so uh, it is a, a dynamic uh, a, a system and there are uh, environmental factors. Uh, there are so many uh, other factors that, the, that changes uh, the concentration or uh, the alterations within the cell. Uh, so uh, therefore uh, with the accumulated data, as I mentioned that big data uh, we are able to uh, model what happens uh, within the cell. So uh, we are a bit far away from totally understand that complex system, that dynamic system, but still with the available data, uh, we can uh, produce some hypothesis uh, that is validated uh, by experimental uh, techniques, you can say. So this would show how the environment would cause the disease and not genetics? <clears throat> so there are multiple factors. Uh, I cannot uh, reduce it to only <clears throat> environmental factors or, uh, or the inherited factors. There are, that, that is a, a multi, uh, there are multiple uh, effects that, that is causing to, uh, to, for example, cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, computational model would show uh, for many types of diseases. Are there any specific you're working on? In your yeah, uh, we, we, we focus on computational oncology, which is uh, mostly, which is uh, the cancer research. Uh, and uh, our um, softwares are also adaptable to different uh, diseases. For example, um, uh, neurodegenerative yeah. diseases. Um, and for example, uh, infectious diseases, uh, that, that is uh, enough flexible uh, to, uh, to apply this uh, software or the developed modeling techniques to uh, other diseases as well, besides uh, cancer, uh, we, we applied it to uh, infectious diseases and also neurodegenerative diseases as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we conduct actually interdisciplinary projects uh, to better understand the diseases uh, by uh, leveraging some sophisticated uh, computational methods uh, for uh, data integration. Uh, I mentioned about that uh, big data accumulated in, in, uh, in the field uh, and by using the uh, interaction network. So, uh, that that is the uh, main focus of our uh, research group. Okay, uh, so you're working with with which fields? So uh, we collaborate with uh, with the uh, medical schools uh, with MDs, and also we are collaborating with uh, molecular biology and genetics departments uh, uh, in 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 this sense. Uh, and uh, we have collaborators from uh, the pharmacy department. And by training, I am an engineer, and uh, we mostly uh, fo focusing on developing these uh, modeling techniques. 
uh, and we discuss on that modeling, modeling uh, results with uh, our collaborators to make sense this uh, data. So um, your studies are in engineering, uh, not biology. So it, it is an interdisciplinary field. Uh, we are uh, applying the engineering principles to uh, biological problems to better understand uh, again what happens, uh, what what transformations are happening uh, during uh, uh, disease progression from the normal state to uh, the disease state. We we try to understand that uh, dynamic and uh, complex uh, system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else you would like to add about your work? I think I have a very good understanding. Uh, uh, I think that that that's uh, all. And uh, actually, uh, that those projects are uh, among the uh, uh, among the. Uh, saying that uh, computing a disease. Uh, so uh, we are working on uh, computing uh, diseases. So uh, the, the idea is to transform, uh, for example, the big data from uh, the patient uh, into uh, clinically uh, applicable uh, information. So uh, our main aim is to transform uh, the data to meaningful uh, information that can be applicable in the uh, clinics or in optimization of the treatment strategies and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes. How close is this <clears throat> to um, for medicines to change according to these findings? So currently, uh, uh, Engineers and uh, medical schools are collaborating a lot, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, data is uh, this uh, omic data is already uh, used uh, in the in the clinics. Uh, so uh, and uh, to, to uh, optimize the the uh, treatment strategies, uh, and uh, in the future we will uh, hear about uh, more. Uh, but uh, currently in the clinics, uh, this big data uh, is uh, used from uh, multiple groups. And uh, so uh, the, the, the field is, uh, the, uh, field is uh, progressing in a fast pace. And uh, so uh, the treatment strategies are uh, uh, determined by using these big data as well mm -hmm. all over the world, I think. Mm. All right. Um, what do you think of the idea of bringing scientists together throughout the Mediterranean? So, uh, in the in the Mediterranean region, we have a, a big potential, and uh, we already have uh, so many collaborations uh, in Italy, in Spain, and so on. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the collaborative environment uh, in Mediterranean region, uh, actually in, in, the, in the whole world, but in, in, in Mediterranean region, uh, will also uh, improve that potential and uh, will make big contributions uh, into the science, uh, I can say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, thank you for um, explaining all this to us and for your uh, for your work, for your impact in this field. And we are Thank looking you. for a results and application. Um, and um, congratulations for being a member of the Mediterranean Science Team. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation and for the selection. It, it is an honor. Thank you.